Hey guys, it's Kelly. Um, reading your comments video will be coming out later. I was gonna say, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing 70 makeup and hair. I was gonna do like clothes too, but when I was looking at the style, I didn't not have anything that could fit, so. We're just gonna do hair and makeup. We're doing this for a bunch of decades. What I basically did, I wrote down a piece of paper, 1900 to 2020, so you know, like 1900, 1920, 30, 40, and so on. Cut them up, put them in this mug I have in my room, mix them up, pick one out, and I chose 1970s. So that's the first look we're starting with. I am excited. Um, so you know, in all this look, you don't need like a whole lot of makeup. You need basically foundation. This is what I use for like pimples and stuff to cover up pimples. Concealer, powder. Um, I also need brushes, mascara, eyebrows, your sponge, eyeshadow, and like your lip stuff, which is lip stuff in here. Um, and there's blush in here, so you need blush as well. Let's get started. This should be a relatively, you know, quick makeup thing. Um, well, how I do foundation, I put it directly, like, on my skin. Then, you just take your sponge and you dab it in. I didn't put lotion on before this because, well, after I do this makeup tutorial, I have to like shower anyways. So that's why I decided to do it today instead of waiting. That's why it's up late today. I didn't get extra freaking. I need to clean this uh, sponge up to you. Um, so yeah. I think I actually did a little bit too much foundation, honestly. Um, you want to you want to go over your eyelid, that's what I like to do. It just I don't know, I feel like it helps. It makes everything kinda of look even you don't want, you know. The reason too guys I like to do these videos in the bathroom if you're wondering is because um I think the lighting's better especially when it comes to makeup. Doing like makeup stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you got your foundation. Time to conceal the foundation. Jobs they I've done makeup face you do under your eyeballs. Again, I didn't use like I didn't watch the toilet video doing this. I just looked up like pictures, so I just want you guys to know that. So I'm kind of just doing like this part of the makeup normal, how I normally do it. Then after that, like with the eyeshadow, and the rest of it's gonna be reference pictures. So, oh. I'm like trying to be faster than, and it's still coming out so far so good. Cause I've been doing makeup so long, so like once you've been doing some so long, you can do it fast and it still kind of works out good for you. No. Not saying you should do things fast when you do things, so I'm just saying. Uh, once you've done stuff a lot of times, it just becomes so easy to, you know, to do it so that you can do it fast. And uh, makeup, you still want to be careful because you want it to come out good, you want it to be sloppy, but I'm just saying. Once you've been doing it for like so long, We put that on the eyelid too. I just feel like it helps to, with the eyeshadow to make it pop more. I 
don't know, I do kind of like rub it sometimes. It doesn't affect it anyway. It doesn't like make it create lines or anything. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. It looks eh. But once I do this powder, it's gonna look a lot better. It's gonna make everything look a lot smoother. So I'm just all around my face and then That's what it looks like now. Okay. Next is eyes. So, what I've been seeing is like, I've seen a bunch of pictures using green eyeshadow, so that's what we're going to use. You, you can probably get away with using any color, but I don't know. That's just what I've seen, so we're going to go with it. Just kind of go for it. There's no like find a reason or ready to go about this. So we're just gonna do like light green into dark green. So So we're gonna start with your darker green in like the middle here. I always have trouble doing my uh, left eye. I don't know why. If you, any girls out there, do you guys have this one? Don't gonna. Can do the bottom lid, same kind of thing. Not very too good doing the bottom lid, but. I actually kind of like the way that came out. I need to take a small brush and do a right in the corner of our eyes. So. Okay. 
Okay then. Now it's just time. Actually, no. There's eyeliner involved, but I don't do eyeliner because I get too under. You know, the under eyelid one. Now it's just mascara time and brow time. I don't have much bottom lashes, so I tend not to do the bottom lashes, but you know, when I'm doing the top ones a lot, they just tend to get done too, so yeah, I am kind of doing them on purpose a little bit. Here we go. Then we're just going to get some powder on our cheeks. Take a nice curl. I don't know why I said it like that. There's no angle for eyelash. I lost the blush. No, never. So we're going with this. Oh, we're just going to do very lightly on the cheek area. And now just the brow time and then we're done. Okay, guys, I'm not. Oh, I gotta do the lips real quick. Um, sorry, I'm not finna talk about the point. Lip glossiness. Gloss, gloss. Okay guys, so that's the makeup, you know, not bad, I'm going to go on to the hair now, I'm going to be doing the off camera, uh, so that's kind of another quick thing to um, all you need for that is a, a fat curl and iron, like that to get the fat curls, and a headband, I have this headband, um, and you know, brush and hairspray, so that should be quick too. Um, and yeah, I'll be back to show you guys the final look. 
Okay guys, you ready to see the final look? There it is. So I had switched curl lines to a thinner one because the fast one wasn't really doing much. So I just curled like the ends of my hair a little bit, not too much. Um, like this one picture, but, and I have the, you know, fat head in here. Um, and yeah, that's the makeup. I'm going to show you the two reference pictures, um, I did. And you guys can remember, so this is the one for the makeup. I just want to say, I did kind of different shades of green too in the bottom hair. I don't really do that much of my experience, but this is the picture that I use for makeup reference. If we do this right now. This thing went on her face, so. so that's that. That's her makeup. And that's mine. Rate me a 1 to 10 about how you think I copy the picture. And then this is the hairstyle, like then. Now, keep in mind, I did a different type of headband. She had more of like a scarf thing as the headband. And you know, but I did like the curls and stuff. So that's this girl's hair. And then this is my hair. Um, so yeah, this is my like typical like I don't know 70s look. I think it kind of looks pretty good. I think this would be 70s. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, rate me on scale of one to ten how good I did with the pictures and I don't think looks 70s, don't I? Anyways, I love you guys so much, my man. Demands. Follow me on all my socials. Follow Cotton Insta. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Rizmi Hashtag AGP. Um, again, we new comments should be coming out later. And yeah, uh, I really think I did pretty good, honestly. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I really kind of nailed it almost. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, for 70s styles, girl, it's just it's like, you know, not like something you would dress up as 70s type, but it's just kind of starting. I missed a piece of hair here. Can't even remember to decide that. But yeah, I love it. I like the way it came out, especially the hair. This side, I don't know what happened with this side, honestly. Kind of fucked up a little on this side. Um, let's see if we can fix that a bit. Do you like it? Well, turn this off already. Whatever it's gonna be, how it's gonna be. Oh, we just kind of we'll hide that piece back there. But other than that, I like it. Um. Anyways, I love you, anyway so much. Hope you're excited for the future of this makeup thing I'm gonna be doing. And I'll see you, Animers, in the next video.